So during that time, though, you were doing weekends <laughs> and you were doing um, oh, yeah. Sullivan operas. And Gilbert and Sullivan. I don't know how I did it when I <laughs> look back. Because that's when I became a, a real Gilbert and Sullivan buff. That a um, friend of mine started Melbourne Music Theatre and we performed down at the uh, Alexander Theatre, well first at the National Theatre, then the Alexander Theatre. And um, I was current at the time with the Sullivans and for about four or five years I did about 10, 12 Gilbert and Sullivan shows. So I was trying to learn those scripts and the other scripts at the same time, punishing myself. But they were, they were wonderful though because I love performing. And if you sit around and do nothing, you get very tired. And in between all of that, of course, I was still training two hours a day. Athletics. Athletics, yeah. So that kept me very busy, all that. But the wonderful thing with Gilbert and Sullivan, of course, anything that lasts 100 and 140 years, it's got to have something going for it. And, you've, and it amazes me that opera companies always do Gilbert and Sullivan. Because really, you need, because of the comedy in it, you need actors who can sing. And see, with myself being a singer, to start with, I've got both to go with, and I kept singing all the way along, not operatic, I then went into lighter stuff from ballads to, to musicals and all that sort of thing. And, um, but it was terrific just to work with that.